here. She got his valve cover, rocker cover, off the car. That's how it was in the car. Brown. Good look. Looks like inside. See how the gasket is one way. You can only put it on one way. You can't screw it up putting it on. And this is the old gasket, by the way. Now you, this is a built-in almost uh, catch can inside the valve cover. Very cool uh, Subaru little add little add-on here. It's like a uh, built-in catch can. Very neat. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to take the gaskets out and clean the heck out of it. Make sure we're, we're going to get every single piece in here. You've seen there's videos talking about it all over. Um, you know, of course, reference some more videos. See if some oil came out of the, the catch there. We're just going to tip it over, let it drain out. Um, then clean it, and then we're going to clean the surface here itself and I want to show you these two here no one's ever addressed these in any video that I've seen these are what called the valley seals or the half moon seals if you see in here to it. Right here is a little black half moon plastic piece. A little bit of Fuji bond that will go over exactly what goes on here. And there's one right there. There you can see it really well. There's the half moon black plastic piece. Those are the valley seals. Um, I have those. There's two for each side. And I got my kit. A flat irons tuning, which is a an excellent, excellent OEM source for. Here's the three bond, the Subaru Fuji bond, and then we've got our valley. Here's the valley seals. Here's the half moons we're talking about. Oh, that's cool. Watch this. Check this out. Here's the half moon. Boop! It's that. Yeah. So we'll do that and get on with it. Now you're going to want to go all along the surface. You can see there where it met up. I just have a rag there. And if you can see in close there, see all that gook? You want to get all that crap off of there. 100%. You want to you want to smooth a surface as just like if you were doing a head gasket or something. You want to smooth a surface as possible to mate up your gasket with. And that's what's going to give you your full seal, along with use of the Fuji bond. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just mentally noting where they've got the Fuji bond, where they've got the most of the Fuji bond. They've got it all inside the little cusp of the valley seal, which is let's take a let's take a valley seal out here. Plug for the cylinder head. Bear with me. I don't want to ruin the seal. Itself. See how it has this C in here? If you're getting that at all. With that, you're going to want to put the Fuji Bond on the. I would put it on the head itself. 
the cylinder head and then uh, press it in and just use a, it looks like they're just used a thin, thin enough amount so that's when it's pressed in it looks like they've even might have uh, beat it they pressed in some there in that line there you can see it better there yep and then when they did it they just sealed the top with a little bit of bead so we're going to want to get all that off there and we're going to want to put the Fuji bond in the places where they had it the most of course the two half moon seals are going to get it doesn't look like they used it at all on this uh, spark plug uh, where the spark plugs are, right there, the two right there. But it does look like they used a lot towards the front, if you can see there. All up on top there. All around those grooves. Now I'm guessing that was applied to here, and then pressed on. So that's what we're going to uh, achieve right now. First we're going to clean the heck out of it. Okay, I just took a like small crescent wrench, and those little uh, half moons just popped right out. Now, here's the thing. See right under that bottom half moon right there? This half moon right there where I just put my finger in? Right below that is where the leak was. And if you could see it, there's a black spot on my... my heat shield here. And that's where the oil was running down like this. And that was my leak. And uh, looks like it was coming from right here or here, right? Well, popped my valley seal off. Look at the chunks missing out of the seal. Those are some heavy chunks missing. And, uh, yep. Looks like that was it. Rock or something got up in there from rallying, possibly. But then the inside's chunked, too, which is crazy. But engine's fine. Everything's great. This thing runs, man. thing runs well. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean up where we put the valley shells in, make sure that all the surfaces are completely prepped. I went over it with a wire brush and a regular brush. Just got all the crap and everything off of it. Now we're going to, like I said, go over where those half moons were because there's a little stuff in there. Oh, another thing I want to say about the half moons with the Fuji Bond. Um, if you can see in there, there's just a little bit of Fuji Bond that's covering this little gap that's in there. Just enough. And it's smeared in. You can see it. Now, I'll show you on the other half moon here. The other cylinder head. Here's a clean plug. You see that that slit down the center? That's the slit that you're going to want to fill with the Fuji bond. Just throw that in there for now. Okay, as for the Fuji bond, these are the two seals, the half moons, and they want to put you a little line right down here, and they want you to put a little on here. That's exactly where it was when I took it off. So now is the only spots on it. So once you got your half moon seals and everything done and those are zipped up nice and the, all the edges are filled in and everything with a nice bead, you have to try and get these on past these little bolts down here. So it's gonna be, you're gonna have to angle it and, and just get it in real nice. That's why you wanna make sure your gaskets, once they're back on the new gaskets, they're the, they're the old ones. The new ones right here are really seated in there, really pushed in well. And you want to make sure there's no stress on any of the bends. Just make sure the all the corners are right. And then try and dump it back in. And then what they want you to do is you've got an order to tighten it for the compression. And I'll show you how to do that once we dump this thing in there without messing up the gasket when you're sliding it in. Okay, if this were the rocker cover and these were the bolts 
This is how they want you to tighten it. This one first, this one next, then this one, then this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. 